On this day in history, Spain declared war on the United States. The Spanish-American War played a huge part in the annexation of Hawaii to the U.S. Here's Kamakapili with a special Aloha Authentic. April 24, 1898, Spain declared war on the United States and the U.S. Congress voted to go to war a day later. And with battles taking place in the Philippines, a Spanish territory, Hawaii became a very strategic location for America. As tension grew between Spain and the United States, the American government felt they needed to secure power within the Pacific Ocean. The Hawaiian Kingdom had already been unlawfully overthrown five years prior, even though then-President Cleveland opposed Hawaii's annexation. But when William McKinley took office in 1897, he negotiated a new treaty with the Republic of Hawaii. The Spanish-American War, a year later, then showed the tactical importance of Pearl Harbor, convincing the U.S. Congress to annex Hawaii on July 7, 1898. In August, the first American troops arrived in Honolulu for garrison duty, setting up camp on Kapi'olani Park inside the one-mile racetrack that once stood. But as more troops arrived, the camp grew and was relocated outside the racetrack a few hundred yards. This new location was named Camp McKinley and became the first military camp in Hawaii. The Spanish-American War came to an end with Spain surrendering and a peace treaty being signed between the two countries in December. Camp McKinley remained in existence at its new barracks in Kapuhulu until Fort Shafter opened in June of 1907. And Pearl Harbor? It became an official U.S. naval base in 1908, even though it took three more years until the first large ship, USS California, crossed into the newly dredged 600-foot channel. Did you know? Now you do.